And you guys, it's day number 20 of my 365 day Jimmy Ice Bath Challenge. Yet again, we are right here staring cold, hard ice right in the face. I'm about to put my body inside a whole bunch of this stuff in a daily ice bath. If you've been following along, I've been going into the Morozco Forge. That's what this nice little fancy tank is. Let's see what the temp is today. 32 point. Oh, that's funny. It's moving as I'm talking. I was about to do the 32 point and it started moving. I think it says 32.8 degrees. It, it was moving a little bit when I first opened it up. So 32.8 degrees today in the ice bath. I'm doing these ice baths for five minutes a day all throughout 2022. So if you're just joining in, you haven't seen me get in the ice bath before, uh, and you really want to learn more about the ice baths, I've actually been doing daily videos. So here on Instagram Live, we go live right at around 5 o'clock. I went a little bit early today because I'm anxious. Plus, it's kind of nasty out here. The wind's blowing. You can see where the snow is pretty much melting. Um, and it looks like they've called off the snow that was going to come tomorrow. So my chickens are all over here. See my chickens? They're loving that the weather has finally gotten because the chickens have literally been cooped up all week with the with the snow. But so anyway, I'm in five minutes a day in this uh, cold water and a lot of benefits. So go check out the past videos. You can watch them on Instagram. I put them on Facebook. I put them on YouTube. They're everywhere. If you put in the hashtag Jimmy Ice, you should find all of the videos so you can check it out. And every day I try to focus in on something new about cold thermogenesis. And today I have a really good one that I want to share with you uh, because a lot of people may go into cold therapy, may go into an ice bath, and they don't have any business going in until they deal with this thing that I'm going to talk about. All right, let's set this thing down and we will tilt you downward. So you can see all the action in the ice. If you guys watch my reels that I make, I usually have this right here and I have words on the screen of what I'm saying. So I really enjoy sharing those parts of this. Five minutes on the clock, you guys. You guys ready to see me freeze my tushy off here on day number 20. And if you like this content, by the way, click on that little... Click on that little badge thingy down there. There's a little heart thing. If you click on the badge, you can buy a badge and support my work. That would really help me out. All right, guys, five minutes on the clock, and here we go. It's a little harder when it's windy and cold out here because I can feel that blowing on me and I can feel the cold air and then I feel the cold water. So it's really tough on these days. Uh, so I'm looking forward to when it warms up in the spring and summer uh, and I get out here and it's a little more refreshing to be in warm outside temperature while in the cold water, but we deal with it in the winter. Okay, so I wanna talk about when it's not appropriate to get into an ice bath like this or a cold shower. 
And I feel like people get gung-ho about this kind of thing. They hear about the benefits of it because I've been touting them for 20 days now. And they get real excited, but then they forget that this is something that is going to add stress to you. Now, it's a good, t a good stress, a targeted stress, a purposeful stress to get your body in a position to get the benefits from it. But let me tell you when it's the wrong time to implement this uh, in your life. It's when you're already stressed. So if you're stressed out, if you've had a rough day at work, you've had a, 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 a spat with your kids or your spouse, and you're actually in a very sympathetic uh, nervous system that's on overdrive, that's that stressful state. Do not, do not get in an ice bath when your mind is not right. You want to use your breath before you get into the ice bath to bring your mind and body under control. You may want to do a workout so that you can let off some of that energy and put your, your state of mind in a better place. I feel like sometimes we want to jump into things when we're not ready for them. And if you jump into an ice bath and you're already in a sympathetic nervous system because you're highly stressed about things going on in your life, you may actually cause more harm than good. And so be mindful of that. Be ready that if you're not ready to put your body under stress, like right now, my body is under great stress. You wouldn't know it hearing me talk because I'm pretty chill before I get in. And that's by design, by the way. If I was upset, if I was stressed, I would do everything I could through breath work, through meditation, through exercise, through anything I could to make sure that my mind-body connection is ready to go to do something like an ice bath. Because I know I make this look easy, guys, but this is not easy. This is very, very hard to get into 32 degree temperature water stay in for five minutes, which I've got just over 30 seconds left, by the way, um, and, and do this. So are you feeling me? You don't wanna be doing this if you're stressed. Get the stress under control first. Allow your body to relax, calm your mind, and then you can reap the benefits of this, this different kind of stress. This is a stressor, just like fasting's a stressor, just like exercise is a stressor, this is a stressor, but it's purposeful to make you better, stronger, and healthier. All right, we're running out of time. Three, two, one. And that's five minutes. It's so funny, I try to open that door and my hands are so numb. Every single day that I try to open that, my hands are so numb, I don't feel the handle. And so I try to pull it and it just slips off because I don't know my grip, I can't feel how hard I'm gripping it. So, ah, welcome, welcome guys. Just another day in paradise, frozen hands. Let it go, let it go. But yes, um, please, don't do cold therapy when you're in a sympathetic state because you're defeating the purpose. The purpose of cold therapy is not to make you more stressed on top of stress you're already carrying. It's to target stress for a specific reason. And that's what getting in an ice bath does. That's what getting in a sauna does. That's what doing an exercise program does. That's what fasting does does all of these things that are stressors yes but you don't do those things any of those things that i just mentioned you don't do any of them including the ice bath when you're in already a stressed state people often talk about you know fasting oh uh, uh i started fasting but i was so hungry and i can't understand why i'm like well is there something going on in your life are you stressed oh yeah the the kids are going crazy and and my boss is driving me crazy at work i'm like there it is. 
You've already got stress in your life. You're adding a new stressor on top of that by adding in the fasting. And so it's not going to be great. So if you had a tough day at work, you don't come home and go right into a cold shower or an ice bath because you need to deal with some of that stuff both mentally and physically through breathing, through meditation, through workout, whatever you got to do to deal with that. All right, let me scroll back to the top, see what you guys had to say as I was in the tub. Bulletproof Coconut says, how did the hard ketones feel? Do you think one can would be enough to skip a meal? Um, so yeah, the other day I, on camera, had a thing, and I'm going to be airing that on my podcast in a couple weeks, by the way, uh, Frank Yosa from Hard Ketones. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I got a buzz from taking two of them. I actually felt a little bit of something, something after one, um, and yeah, I did not eat after having that, so um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad. Um it wasn't the best tasting in the world for me personally, but I'm also a hyper taster. And so I taste all the little everything. And, uh, but as an experiment, it was fun. I've still got two more cans and, uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, he says, go Jimmy, miss your walk and talks. Yeah. Look, I would love to be doing the walk and talks again, by the way, you guys, which is why these ice baths have become kind of a proxy for some of the things I was doing with the walk and talk. My toes are still not right. Um, I can show you what they look like if they're still very frozen. So, but these two toes still have pretty major inflammation on them. And so, uh, they have to, and I haven't worn shoes on that, on my feet since I cut my toes on day six. So that was, that was, you know, two weeks ago. Um, so they're not totally healed yet. I mean, they're much better than they were but I'm still putting ointment on them and I'm still bandaging them every single day, trying to get them to be better. I do let them breathe for uh, a little while openly, but I still feel them throb when I'm sleeping. So that cut was really deep, but trust me, I wanna get back to the walk and talks. Number one, I'm missing the walks, uh, but I haven't been able to walk uh, in shoes since that incident, so, but thank you. I miss you guys there too. Uh, Linda says she misses me too. Thank you for that. Cherish says, yes, I made it. Parkman says, yo, Jimmy. Debbie says, Jimmy, yesterday after your video, I did what you said. After my warm shower, I turned halfway down to cold for a minute. And then I blasted the full, co full cold for another minute over my head. And now I'm hooked. See, it worked. So uh, yesterday, Debbie was talking about, I think it was you, Debbie, that you put the cold like right on your head at the coldest temperature and you started, I think you were the one that said maybe you got a headache from it um, and it was too much or maybe it was too shocking. So, you, But yeah, incrementally work your way down, let it kind of go at a warmer and then slowly bring it down and the adaptation is good. And, and it feels good, right? When you when you finally get that buzz feeling, so to speak, after being under the cold water. I have it right now, actually, having come out of that at the very end, you see me kind of pour it over my head and then rub my face with it. That's why, because you kind of have this real ah, sense of relaxation. Now, if I would gotten into that and been very stressed, I would not have the same relaxation. The fact that, yes, that stressed me, but because I went into it, not in a stressful state, that stress actually turns into a good stress that is now benefiting me now that I'm out of it. And it's going to benefit me later with really good sleep. Uh, Cherish says, what techniques do you use to reduce stress? So I have lots of things that I do. Most notably in the background back there, you see a massage chair. So that helps to reduce stress for me personally. I also have these little handheld massagers for my muscles. Um, and yeah, so something like this. And then if I have little stresses in the body, I'll just, oh, I'm going to get started with it and I'm not going to stop, <laughs> but, but I'll just like rub it over the different muscles, anything that hurts on the body, any tension that you feel. That's really nice. Yeah. Like I said, if I get started on this, I won't stop. So, oh, and it's on my knee now. Ah, uh, ooh. Okay, I'm going to stop. Um, 
something else that's really effective for stress. It's going to look stupid if you've never heard of this before, but there is this thing, Cherish, called tapping. So you literally just tap. Just tap on different parts of your body. You can start with your head and on your face. Just tap and then tap on your arms. I know it looks stupid if you've never done this before, but I promise you, tapping is a thing. Go look it up. And what you're doing is you're basically giving little shocks to your to your body and it releases tension when you do that. So that's called tapping. Um, and then obviously you could work out. That gives you a little bit of a high too or go take a, a saunter uh, outside if it's not crazy raining like it is here. Um, deep breathing exercises. I love the four, seven, eight where you breathe in for four seconds, hold it for seven seconds, and then breathe out for eight seconds. Do that three or four times. That also is a nice relaxation technique. Uh, meditation, yoga, whatever floats your boat. Getting in a sauna, uh, and all those things will help to calm you down when you're stressed. Um, yes, it was refreshing, gave me energy. Excellent, Debbie, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Oh yeah, Private Eye said it was me yesterday with the brain freeze. Yes, did you try anything new, uh, Private Eye? Did you start kind of at the face and then like turn your head sideways before you went to the back of the head? I would love to know how that went for you. Uh, but yeah, you guys, day 20. I've been at this 20 days now. Tomorrow will be three weeks that I've been doing this. And I have loved it. Um, the benefits that I have gotten... Um, and look, I've been doing this for a little while, so it's it's not like I'm brand new to this and I'm just experiencing this, but it's nice to have the consistency on a daily basis of seeing, committing yourself to this. Now, committing myself to this cold for this long, I have never done this before. I, I have done ice in a bathtub, which is around 40s, in the 40s of temperature, but never purposely 32, 33 degrees for this long in a row and going the whole year at it. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's no big deal to get in there now. Maybe when I first got into 32 for the first time, uh, it was a little bit shocking. But now I just get in, get down, breathe for like a minute or two, and then I'm good. Then I start talking to you guys and it's all good. Um, it's more, it's more mind over matter than anything. And really the only thing that hurts, I even hate using the word hurts because it doesn't really hurt. Um, it's just uncomfortable is the hands that get, but they're all the way back now. The hands that get really numb, uh, but they're not prickly anymore. When I first got in there, the prickliness was what was very uncomfortable. Now it's just this, it just starts freezing um, and my hands get numb. And then the toes get numb. The toes are already back as well. So um, those things don't really bother me. They're just uncomfortable. They're not painful. They're just uncomfortable. Um, Private Eye says it was better when she did her face first. Good. Yeah, so just, just work your way up, you guys. This is not a race to see who can get to the coldest temperature for the longest period of time. It's not really about that. Um, it's about just being consistent with getting in the cold therapy. Create a consistent pattern and then add two things as you progress. So when I first started, it was warm water. And then I was consistent with the warm water and at the end of my showers. And then I would go to cooler water and then the coldest water. And then after that, once I got in the coldest water and I found myself taking one hour cold showers... I was like, okay, I need to progress to ice in a bathtub. And so I would dump the 20 pound bag of ice from Sam's Club. And uh, at first I would do about 20, 30 minutes. Then it got so pleasurable, I stayed in for an hour. I think my record in the ice, in the ice bath, uh, in the bathtub, um, I think I was in for like an hour and a half one day. So it started off in like the 40s, but by the time it was an hour and a half. It was probably in the 50s and 60s because my body temp had probably warmed it up, but I was just so comfortable in there. So when I decided to get the Morozco Forge and knew I could uh, 
control the temperature that it was going to be a good thing. So, uh, and it has been. Look, five minutes, I can do the five minutes and, and it's, I know I make it look really easy to do the five minutes, but I literally fight that whole five minutes. So I want to get to the point that I can be in the Morozco Forge. Um, and if I wasn't talking to you guys, you, you guys definitely help me pass the time when I'm in that tank. Um, give, you, you give me the first minute, minute and a half to catch my breath. Once I'm breathing and I'm calm, then I can talk to you for about three, uh, three and a half, four minutes. And that helps the time pass by. One of these days, uh, during this 365 five day challenge, I am going to push myself to go a little longer than five. Um, I'm not sure when yet. I want to make sure I'm not there yet. I couldn't possibly do it right now, but I want to just see what's it, what would it be like to go maybe seven minutes, maybe one week. I do five minutes on like Monday, six minutes, Tuesday, seven minutes, Wednesday, you know, until I get to 10 minutes and then see. But I'd have to be in the right place. I'd have to be very well adapted to the five minutes in doing this. And I'm not quite there yet, but I am enjoying the process. It's been fun sharing with you guys um, doing these ice baths. It's a lot of fun. Am I inspiring you to start doing cold showers? A lot of you have been writing me and saying, all right, I'm going to do show cold showers now. If you can put up with that much ice for five minutes every single day, then I can do a two-minute wash-off with cold uh, in the shower. And you can. You can do it. It's not as hard as you think it is. Mind over matter, you guys. Mind over matter. All right, guys, let me pop off of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Day number 20. Got it in the bag, you guys. Hope you're enjoying all these videos. I will continue to try to educate you. Hey, if you have any questions about cold therapy, hop on over to my Instagram page at Live in Low Carb Man, L I V I N L O W C A R B M A N. Drop me uh, a topic that you would like for me to cover. I've got all year long to cover topics, and I got plenty of topics to talk about. But I, I would, I definitely would love to uh, address anything that's on your mind. Debbie says, you inspire me. You taught me about keto and fasting. Excellent. Excellent. And now ice baths. So, <laughs> All right, guys. As always, go check me out over on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. We put these videos everywhere. I want to share the love and share the information with everyone. And we'll keep doing that. So until next time, we'll see you then, guys. Bye, guys.